everybody I'm gonna be showing you that smoky eye that you just saw at the beginning it's super easy it will take you less than five minutes with like two products so I'm just priming my eye using the same Urban Decay primer I usually use and um, starting off with this Smashbox um, gel liner that I used in my last get ready with me video um, and just put a line on there it doesn't have to be perfect and blend away like I blend this out for a little bit I cut a lot of it out in the video but you want to blend 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 away um, until that it gets a little bit thinner as you go up on your eye and cover as much of that bottom half of your lid as you can using that but it dries fast so work fast um, then I'm just going over with that Ulta single shade color in milk chocolate that I used in my last get ready with me video and once again blending that out um, and I didn't really want to highlight on this look so instead I just went in with my finishing powder underneath my brows just to define it a little bit but blended it out as much as I could so that it didn't come off as a highlight. I just don't think this look looks very good with highlight. And then I went back in and added even more of the brown. It looks really light in this lighting um, but you'll see in the end um, when I show you the finishing look that it looks a lot darker when it's all finished. So I go, I'm go, i going back in here and um, going ahead and doing the rest of my face before I finish up my eyes. So just applying foundation, doing my um, highlighting. Okay so this is just LA Girl Concealer. I just put it in all my highlighted areas and I'm just blending that in um, pretty good. And using a beauty blender to do that part, and then, oops, sorry, I had to fix my brow. And then um, I'm going back over that with that same NYX HD finishing powder that I just used a while ago for my um, eyebrows, or for underneath my eyebrows. And I'm just putting down all the areas where I did highlighting. Um, and then I'm not rubbing it in, I'm just patting it on my face, and I'm gonna let that bake a little bit. And then I'm doing a powder um, contour using my Tarte Cosmetics Powder Foundation in medium dark, I believe. Um, I think that was the color I ended up using for this book. So just let that sit a little bit. And then I am, before I even really finish the look, I'm just taking a clean brush and blending everything in. Blending, since I do a powder contour, um, everything has to be blended so much more than with the cream. Um, and then I'm going back over, I went back over it with a, my um, Tarte Cosmetics um, Dark Powder Foundation once again. And then just added a little blush and highlight. So now going back to my eyes, I'm going to, I'm just here, I'm just um, defining my eye line. So I'm using that same liner that I used in the beginning and doing a lightly winged liner and then on the bottom I'm just using the same Rimmel London gel liner that I used in my get ready with me video. And then for today I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I received a sample of it and so I was just trying it out. I still don't know how I feel about it. And on my lips I actually only wore lip liner. Um, I wore Creature by ColourPop Cosmetics. I didn't add any lip color on top of that. I didn't add a gloss to it. I just wore it like that and I liked it and it lasted the whole day. So put your finishing spray of course and that concludes this look. So as you can see under this other lighting you can see that the brown's a little bit darker. Um, and even then it, the video doesn't give it justice. But don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share and I'm so happy you tuned in again to watch and be looking for my next video. Bye!